Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you are staying warm because it is cold. For it to be spring, it's cold outside. Like, I had to put on my, not the, like, big, big winter jacket, but I put on the, like, short size one because it's cold outside. And I put back on my uggles because it was cold. Uh, today's video is another Melody Susie Thick Gel Polish. Um, this one I really, really, really struggled with. Um... I tried to do as thin, thin layers as possible. I only did one coat for um, the nail set that I'm doing in this video. And um, I was trying to do my design. And when I looked at the nails, I saw that they were wrinkling. I've never seen that. The only time I've seen nails wrinkling is when it was like on my behalf. So, um, yeah, I know like the last... Because uh, I worked with this gel polish before. Um, the same consistency was when I did the nude um, gel polish with the heart cutouts. I did two layers, but that was like it bubbling because it was just too thick. Well, it didn't really bubble. You can just see the dent. Um, so I'll link that video back. So if you guys want, you guys can go watch that again. Or if you haven't watched it, you can watch it for the first time. Miss um, Rivera did mention about um, getting a thinner. A, uh, I don't know exactly what she called it exactly like the proper term but i do remember it thins the gel the polish out i know she said it works well for um nail lacquer but she hadn't tried it with the gel polish but in order for me to use these these gel polishes i'm gonna need to thin it out as you guys can see i'm just showing you that i have that one before um um that one was like a nudish pink this one is brown i had about like Four to five options but I just chose the brown because I wanted to do something different for spring I wanted to do like a brown spring set I have this whole plan mapped out I was gonna do his hibiscus flowers I was gonna do some textured crock pen and then when I was doing this set it went out the window I mean I did try the hibiscus flowers but it just it wasn't his biscuit like I couldn't do it so I just broke out my airbrush machine and I did some flowers and some butterflies and that's about it so this set is like really simple I wanted to do something different maybe I probably should have um went in with some like nail foils but I was just so irritated I honestly just wanted to like throw everything down and then after I finished um I was trying to clean out my airbrush the top popped off and then the airbrush paint went everywhere it was <laughs> it was a mess it, it i i was ready to go cry in the corner because i was just so frustrated like my husband we share um we share a space so like on one side is his side with his games and stuff and then one side is with me and my nail stuff and he was playing his game and he was trying to be funny trying to make me laugh and I didn't want to laugh because I was just stressed out. Like the set wasn't what I wanted to be. And then the airbrush paint flew everywhere. It was on my desk. It was on the floor. It was on my chair. It was on my phone. Um, I usually have my iPad out for like when I watch movies or TV shows or if I need to like look at a design real quick to see how to do it. It was everywhere, y'all. Like... It wasn't that bad to clean up. It was just the fact that it was late at night. I was tired. And yeah, that was that. But um, if you've ever worked with gel polish and you have a hack and you know how to make it not bubble, wrinkle, or have dents in it, please feel free to comment below and give me some advice or give anybody else some advice because it is... <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it anymore, y'all. <laughs> it's it, but it's a it's a gorgeous color. Like the color is so pretty. Um, the nails that I have on right now are my graduation nails. That wasn't the original design that I wanted to do. This was the brown that I would have wanted. There was another design that I wanted to do. That was the brown I would have wanted. Um, some of my classmates were trying to um show me different browns that I had, and I was like, because mm -mm, it looks like doo doo, and I don't want to walk around with doo doo looking nails. But um. This was the brown that I had envisioned. I don't know. It gives me like that 90s brown back in the day when I used to get the brown nails. And I don't know. It just put me back in that mode. And yeah. So I'll have to revisit with this gel nail polish again. It is on Amazon for $7.99. I just checked. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get it on the official Melody Susie website. 
um, a couple of months when I did the nude color, they had like a dual set so you can get two for the price of one. Um, I'm not sure about now after the video is said and done, I'll be sure to link everything, you know, so you have options where you can find it and all that good stuff. So eventually I just left the set the way it was. I just went in with some, um, airbrush. And, um, I don't know, the matte top coat has me in a choke coat. I do want to get some glow in the dark top coat because, um, the video I'm going to post tomorrow for 420, I was like, you know what would have been dope if I had some glow in the dark gel top coat. So I don't need to be spending no money. So what I'm talking about, I want to get it. I don't need to spend no money. Like I need to just make do what it do. But anyway, um, I do have a 420 video coming tomorrow. That's another nail life collab. But um, anyway, thank you to Melody Susie for allowing me to even review this gel polish. Um, yeah, so I know a lot of you guys would like me to do a video based on my nail school journey, which I have no problem doing. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. I feel like if I go live and you guys are able to ask your questions right then and there, I feel like if I do a video explaining everything and do a voiceover, nine times out of ten, you might some people still might have questions or maybe in-depth questions and it's like i can't answer it right then and there you guys gotta wait but if i go live and you guys have very specific questions i can answer it right then and there the only thing with going live is scheduling because i don't know y'all schedule my schedule like right now is 12 16 in the afternoon um i have like a couple of free hours before the kids come home and then I don't have free time until they go to bed. So at 9.30 at night. So I'm going to do a community tab, um, a community, a poll on my community tab and just try to see what works for you guys. Because um, if I do it at night, then maybe everybody can join. I know we're, we're probably on different coasts, but I don't know. So let's try to figure that out because I have all the information. Um, I do need to kind of tweak some of it just to block out some of my you know personal information but um yeah i can't wait to do the video or live i just don't know which makes more sense so i'm gonna do a community a poll i keep saying community tab. i'm gonna do a poll and you guys can vote and write in the comments what makes more sense i think going live makes more sense instead of doing a video just one shot because there's so much stuff that I want to, not so much stuff, but there's certain things that I want to show you guys, like, um, as far as some of the supplies that I did keep from school, just to see, like, what you possibly will be getting. I know every school is different, every state is different, but, um, yeah, I would, of course, save the live so anybody could revisit it at any time. So, yeah, just let me know what you guys think, but I'm about to get off this because I got more editing to do. I got... I'm trying to push out content and get back in the swing of things and also keep up with the collabs because I feel like um, that's helping me stay like within a certain time frame. Like this nail collab is due this day, which helps me to push out content the next day. So yeah, it's like a win-win for everybody. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have a happy Friday. Stay warm because it's cold outside. Um, I have a video tomorrow for 420. I probably won't do too much talking in that video. It might just be a vibes video because I don't want to kill y'all vibe if y'all do smoke a little bit. But enjoy your Friday. Be good to you. Be good to others. See you guys in the next one. Bye.